in a bid to increase practicability in universities, SICA celebrated the Arduino Day with TME Education Africa, featuring students' presentation of innovative projects like home automation, water level detectors, and air conditioning systems. These projects demonstrated the students' potential to tackle larger projects given the necessary resources. Principal Professor Moses Mohezi encouraged the students to remain innovative, emphasizing that their efforts could shape their future endeavors. Uh, interesting uh, event, and to associate myself with your projects. Such projects demonstrate that there is life in the university. Because everybody has criticized universities, that they are theoretical. I think today we have an answer that MOOCs, we don't intend to be only theoretical, we intend to be practical. So I want to congratulate you upon that. <laughs> By the way, this could be your future. Your future may not be BBC or BCOB. This skill you are trying to run could be your future. I've been mentioning that if I had authority, I would start BBA plus one. You do BBA or BBC, but you add a skill before you graduate. Uh, in other countries, that is what happens. You cannot only do a theoretical uh, course. You must equally do some practical course. And uh, through World Bank and uh, government, we may get funding for a common user facility where they will put machinery, and all these things to test your uh, knowledge and start something practical. So we intend to do that. I believe we shall achieve that at some point. And you see, you must utilize your youthful time, your youthful age. At this time, your brain is sharp. Your brain is still active. As you grow old, the center no longer holds. You can even forget this when I put the pin. Didn't where have I put this? What is this? Because of the age. And it is on record that people in the world that have made breathtaking innovations have used their youthful age. The rightful brothers that brought the idea of the aeroplane they were young. Even politicians like Mandela, they managed to do what they did because they were young. So youth take this advantage. Many youth waste their time doing what, making noise, but take advantage of our youth for age and do something that is worth. I took advantage of my youth for age. At a young age, I had all qualifications. I had done everything. I had done a lot of things which I can't do now. So my dear students, and all people that have come to visit us from different institutions, my message is, this is the time. You will not do a lot of things when you are 40 and plus. If you waste your time now, you have wasted it, and it will, help, it will definitely impact your future. But I'm happy those who are here, I get it that you are focused people, and I want to encourage you to keep to that line. And uh, those who, I, I saw those interesting innovations. Think more, put your heads to task and think more and advance. Don't simply do that and stop there. No, I think more and do much more. Uh, Dean, I think uh, that center would be interesting. I, I will support it, I will support it. But it is even possible to stop one of the centers which are not active and use the resources to, to start one which is working, isn't it? Yeah, we must do that. It must be radical. So uh, uh, this one would be supported. And I'm sure even government and other entities could support this. Uh, the UN supported Makerere, 
there are a lot of things, a lot of money. I think we also need to reach out to them. Once we have, we can demonstrate that our students have interest and they are doing this, we document this, I believe they should be able to support us. We have some funds, the innovation fund, Sonia, you may not know, on our budget. So if there are some things that need seed money, we could see how to do this in the next year's budget so that we pick on this, this fund to support this. Every year we budget for it. So that innovation fund, uh, Dean, see how to take use of that. But also market these. Market these. I don't know whether there was uh, NBS or whatever. They were actually in the entrepreneurship center. You need to go to entrepreneurship center, bring the NBS. NBS. Because it's all about innovation and entrepreneurship. They take pictures and, uh, and we market this uh, to the outside world. We have the duty to market it. We have the duty to tell people that look like there is something happening so that you get more motivated <coughs> to, to do your work. So let me thank the trainers. Thank you so much, TME. Thank you for that. Uh, uh, Dean, our staff should equally get into this. Our staff should equally get into this. Those who teach ICT should equally undergo such kind of training. So that progressively but surely, our programs are practical and relevant to what the country requires. It is wrong overdue. You have heard of the, the competence-based curriculum. P1, they are doing it. P1, P2, P3. And at university, we are here laughing, eating mandazi and drinking. Things must change. Things must change. It even must change with you when you are at home. You must wash dishes, you must cook, you must do everything. My children must do everything. Whether you're a boy, you must do everything. Because the future, you are not sure of where the future will take. So those who are participating in this, I want to appreciate you. I want to congratulate you. I want to wish you well. I want to implore you to do even more, not to stop here. You are going the world map. Well, thank you so much, and may God bless you. Richard, thank you very much for the time you I remember the last time when we met with the team, the team people, we requested you to have inside the faculty. You said you would, and you did disappoint. Thank you very much. We can now see the results. Our uh, principal, because of this, as a faculty, would like to help our center, the Center of Science and Innovation. We know we have a number of centers here at school. The Entrepreneurship, Innovation, and Innovation Center. We have the we have the ICT center, but specifically we would like to have our own center in the faculty. A, fact, a center that will bring together practitioners, academicians. Uh, you can see these young learners from other institutions so that they can show their they can showcase their projects. We intend to have such activities once in a year. In fact, on the peak of this month, of next month, we shall be having our first science and innovation stage. Innovation week. Next, we have not informed you principal, but we felt that it is first for us, it's first good for us to start, and then we can come and inform you. And then you can advise us how we can take it forward. I would like to thank our colleagues who have supported and most, specific, uh, most especially the students who have come up with very, very important innovations. Innovations that, like what I, what I have from you, do not stop here in MOOCs, but we should be able 
to support you. Even in the future, I'm aware most of you are living this institution. How shall we get in touch with you? In our own wisdom as a faculty, we will thought it wise to keep you through our center that we intend 